Lisa Appleton sharing her tips and tricks once more to help keep Daily Star online readers' sex lives on track during the coronavirus lockdown. Last week, she was helping someone who was worried that the girl they were in an open relationship with was having casual romps once more, despite the lockdown restrictions. Lisa told the man, who actually didn't want a casual relationship and wanted his girlfriend all to himself, to deter and move on. This week she is helping an elderly married couple, who have a dogging dilemma. Wife wants to start dogging, but I have COVID-19 concerns dear Lisa, ahead of the coronavirus lockdown. My wife and I had dipped our toes in the dogging world, after deciding we wanted to spice up our sex lives, after 35 years married. But naturally, when the coronavirus lockdown happened, we had to put a stop to our nighttime exploits. However, my wife is super keen to start dogging again, and she knows of a local group that have started up again in reduced numbers. I want to keep my wife happy, so I don't want to let her down. Not only that, as soon as we entered the world of dogging, it was the first time we'd had sex in years after our sex lives went a bit stale. I'm really worried we'll be putting our health at risk, though if we go back into that world, while COVID-19 is still a big risk. What should I do? Thanks, Anonymous Lisa says. I understand you and your wife have been in lockdown and hadn't had sex for years, so I have spiced it up by dogging and watching other people have sex. So, to go from no sex to doing that has probably reignited your sex life. Now that lockdown has put a stop to that and I'm sure you are worried that your sex life may go a bit stale again. The thing is, now we're being sensible and recognizing there is a pandemic still happening out there. It is still there, and there is a chance of a second wave, and we all have to be aware of that. Even though restrictions are softening, life as we know it is still not going to be quite the same, because you've still got to stay alert, stay safe and be kind as well. By doing those things, you are going to save lives, basically. Now, first of all I think, outdoor stuff is going to be a lot more restricted anyway in group gatherings. And even though you have reduced the numbers, you have still got to be careful as you have got to keep social distancing. As much as you have got to keep your sex life healthy and experiment with a bit of outdoor stuff every now and then to spice it up, you have still got to be very careful. It's starting off as a little group, but what if turns into a bigger group? And you can't touch people outside of your household at the moment, as you could get complaints. So, just be very careful. But, you can still keep your sex life exciting, whether indoors or outdoors, as long as you keep it the two of you. Lisa Appleton returns next week to answer more of your sex problems.